Hello, hello, welcome to another day. Today, I received something fabulous. The proof copy for my new coloring book. I'm trying to be inconspicuous here, but it has arrived and I have fully approved it. It looks great. So the book will be available on schedule by early August, maybe a little bit earlier, late July, possibly, but we're looking good for early August. So I just wanted to announce that little tidbit. And for the rest of today, I think the cover for the Harlequin glass. I don't know if we're calling it the Harlequin glass or the Harlequin glass. I don't know. Pronounce it however you'd like. Whatever your preference is, I don't care. Both are correct. So I'm going to be working on this. We're, there's a couple little details that need to get done, but for the most part, that is done. I will also be working on getting as close to completing lettering issue number one. I'm almost done. I have about 10 more pages to letter and then it will be completely done. And I also have these little pretties to work on. I had the sketch for this one lying around for quite a little while, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, if I even wanted to finish her. And I think I'm going to turn them into a coloring page and then I'm also going to watercolor them. So here's one. Just to give you an idea of how old it is, I created this back in the spring. So I was going to do a spring, summer, fall, and winter coloring page. So that's spring and this is the summer one, which was supposed to already be completed, but things happen as we all know. So I'm going to keep it fairly easy on myself for today. I say that, but I have essentially a full day. So I'm going to be working on the cover for the Harlequin glass. I'm going to be lettering the Harlequin glass and then I'm going to be inking these babies. And then if I have any time left at the end of the day, I am going to, I'm going to leave that a secret. Not because it's, it's a big profound secret, but it's just something that it's a little up in the air. So I don't want to talk about it yet. I will be doing quite a bit of inking today though, so I have to show you this that came in. I got this about a week ago. You guys know I have tendonitis and I do have a lightweight brace that I use, that I've been using for a long time now, but I had to get something a little bit heavy duty. Look at this thing. Mm. I hate braces, orthopedic braces. They're just so... They're so not fashion. <laughs> I hate them, they're ugly. I did sparkle it up though. This is in no way translating on camera, but it is super sparkly with Swarovski crystals. They're the glass leaded crystals, so they're really super sparkly, but of course you can't tell. And I'm so extra that I do polish it with, or I clean it with glass cleaner so that it's even more loud, but this one is really restrictive. I can only move the tippy tip of my thumb. The rest of it, there are metal pieces inside, metal strips that sandwich, or my thumb is sandwiched between two metal strips. So this is really restrictive. And illustrating, drawing, inking with this is just, it's kind of a nightmare. And I haven't adjusted to it just yet because I've only had it for about a week. Hello darkness, my old friend. Hello darkness, my old friend, yes. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Tendinitis. All of my fellow tendinitis sufferers out there feel my pain, literally, I'm sure. So all right, let's get on with the day.
conundrum of the day. He usually comes out to join me for summertime festivities, but there are no summertime festivities this year. Do I paint him metallic gold and turn him into a life-size Ralph? He is life-size, he's about five foot two. No, I'm sorry, I'm five foot two, he's five foot, so he's approximately my height. Now, of course, my head is much bigger than his. He's, he's a petite gentleman. Metallic gold, Edgarify him, or I'm sorry, Ralphify him, or do I Edgarify him? Edgar, of course, is his lesser known, quieter cousin, the glossy white skulls. Now, if I were to make him glossy white, I want to rhinestone the hell out of him so that he's super sparkly, but I don't know what to do. Gold or gloss white with rhinestones? Let us know down below. ended up finishing these two coloring pages. They are now available on Etsy. I will be watercoloring these pieces in the future, so keep an eye out for those videos. As for the prints, I believe in my next vlog I'm going to be doing a proper shop update where I will be adding a couple of other things. good afternoon good evening good whatever time of day it is wherever you are so today I have a pretty easy straightforward day I don't have any large projects that I'm finishing up it's just a lot of little projects that I'm going to be working on and possibly a shop update if I can get these photos properly photographed today but I have these prints of artwork that date back from what, 2016? Yeah, 2016. Just a few of my favorite pieces from 2016 that I turned into small 5x7 prints. These are, unlike the Space Queens, these are on a matte finish paper, which I think is beautiful for these particular prints. I have this little poppy girl, I have this chick, and this a bullwhip, a dominatrixy type gal. I love this one. She looks like she's just a, a slice of, or a slice, you don't really slice cotton candy, but she's a piece of cotton candy. But she belongs at Thunderdome with that outfit, don't you think? I don't know, I think she's cute. And then our little pink dominatrix. So I'm going to be photographing those. Sip of my coffee, excuse me. Ah, nice and cold. So that is what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to be photographing, possibly updating the shop, going to the post office, and then for the rest of the day I will be working on comic book work. So I'm purposely not in frame because I would like for you to have an idea of what this terror does to me on a daily basis. Look at my pillows. Look what he does. He builds himself these bizarre bedding situations. He naps for a few minutes and then he wakes up to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm telling everyone what a terror you are. So he scatters his toys everywhere, mangles them for a bit, and then he'll be back up there taking a nap. So if you can see, there's some purple mail that it's a blouse under there. I had to take that blouse from him because he's been sleeping on it. Dry clean only, but he doesn't care. Anyways, I have to go to the post office to 
ship your packages. And I'm also going to, oh, okay, well, he's out of frame. Check my peel box. Oh, hello. Today's vlog is featuring you, Mr. Creature. All right, let's go to the post office. Wearing my gold mask today. I'm wearing gold shoes, so it was appropriate, but this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Gold Ralphs, gold stars, and gold mask. Oh, look at these cute, 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 cute old buildings. The Copa. Oh, I was trying to give you a better look than that, but there are people. Okay, I gotta go. Well, actually, can I park in front of them? Actually, can I park right in front of them so you can get a view? Yep, that one's called the Tropical. Tropical. Old restaurant, bar, lounge, cocktail lounge, and then there's the Copa. It lights up really cool at night, as does the Tropical. Vintage Palm Springs. Okay, so this makes me really, really sad. This makes me really, really sad. So this package was delivered to me about two weeks ago and I came and apparently, see I had no idea. I had no idea that something was coming and this post office only holds packages for two weeks. So I just missed the deadline by a couple of days. The trouble is I had no idea that something was coming to me, a package. So someone out there sent me a package, but they didn't tell me, which I understand things are a surprise, which is fantastic. The issue with that is that I never expect anything in my peel box, ever. My channel is so small, my following on social media is so small that receiving packages in the mail is not the norm for me, so I rarely check it. Rarely, rarely, rarely. So if you are going to send me something that is a package, it's anything larger than like a six by eight or an eight by 10 envelope, please, please, please let me know so that I can be sure to come down here specifically to pick it up. Because otherwise it's going to be returned to sender, which sucks because I want to say thank you to whoever sent me something. But again, I'm so sorry. On the subject of mail delivery, I received a package to my house. I can smell it from here. I have found a reliable incense supplier online. Yay! I'm a happy girl. We're going to, we are going to burn the Nag Champa today. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. One more thing. This was at the very bottom and I almost threw it away. It's something stupid, not stupid, but it's something silly um, that I needed, but the silliness comes from this. Okay, so I wear a lot of lip balm. I constantly drinking water. It's super dry and hot out here. So lip balm, dry lips, all of that, it's a thing. So I needed a lip scrub, one of the just standard sugar lip scrubs. And this is what sold me on this one. Okay, so a few different things. We know that I love the 80s, okay? So it's called Lips Like Sugar. Some of you out there are already singing it. I already know, right? You're singing it. Echo and the Bunny Men has a song called Lips Like Sugar. So not only is it called Lips Like Sugar, which speaks to my 80s loving heart, but it has this design on it, which is very reminiscent of mid-century modern breeze blocks and graphic design, which I love. I live in Palm Springs. Hello. The dumb things I do, the choices I make, the silly decisions and choices I make based on my dumb, silly reasons. But if I'm going to live with a product, I have to like it. 
right? of this vlog there will be no chit chatty end of the vlog chatty session because there's not a whole lot to talk about I am going to be ending the night working on my comic book as you can see here this thing is an exercise in tedium Ugh. bitter do I sound as though I'm bitter boots right now? It's because I am. Lettering is by far my least favorite part of creating a comic book. It's very technical, it's very tedious, it's not my thing, but it has to happen. I hope that you enjoyed pretty much a day in the life, although technically it was a day in two or two days in my life. I currently am either in between large projects or inching towards finishing, no, I just wrapped up a large project which is my coloring book and I'm currently about halfway done with the comic book, maybe two thirds of the way done and I'm working on several other smaller tasks and one offs so yeah okay I it's fitting. I'm in between projects at the moment so I didn't have a whole lot to share with you in terms of big exciting projects this time around for this vlog but that's all right not every day is going to be exciting I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me anyway if you desire follow me on social media take a look at the links down below as always everything you need to know will be down below my website is a hub for everything so if you're looking for my Etsy shop socials Redbubble, etc etc visit my website that's gonna do it thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one <laughs>